This is the steepest angle I've ever been on in my life. No, I get it. No, you can't get out. I right? can't get out. Which green wipers came on here, eh? Oh, they <laughs> sir! <laughs> Never thought I'd be in the Dirty 30 staring down the barrel of Hell's Gate. That is absolutely insane. That defies physics. Late nights when you can't sleep, looking at YouTube videos. Moab, Utah's what I'd be watching. Oh, that was insane. That rain hits these rock steps. It's gonna get real sketchy real quick. It's 10.30 at night. There's been huge wheel lifts, mental drives. That's it, mate. Oh, That's man. it. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> When it comes to big lines, big commitment, and very big consequences, Moab has it all. We're in the middle of our first ever adventure here, and the stakes have just gotten higher. Last episode, we made it about halfway along the mighty Trifecta Trail, and came very close to a major disaster. Stay there. With everyone a little bit shaken, we're now onto an even more dangerous section of the trail called Where Eagles Dare. And the consequences of getting it wrong here, well, are best not to think about. You know things are getting serious when the only way to spot the track is to look for these little white markers on the rock and the climb ahead looks pretty gnarly. It is pretty sketchy. You've got this big off cambered step. You sort of got to go at it on an angle, cut back in and then commit to this. Just the way a vehicle's gonna sit, you sort of got a tire off each edge of this sloping sort of saddle. I think when people get it wrong is they don't commit enough and then it sort of scrubbles for traction and that's when the front will go or the back will go and gets a bit ugly. All right, Jocko, you're up, big boy. Always looks way more daunting when you get a vehicle pointed up at it. Yeah. Jock is the only one here from the Aussie crew who's driven in Moab before, and with Rocks being his favourite type of wheeling, he's sending it up with total confidence. Easy. See why you guys like Jeep so much out here. Didn't even struggle. Weapon. The Jeep has proven itself again in this terrain, but it's also the lightest in our convoy, and the rest of us are going to struggle to keep all our wheels on the ground. Get prepared to be shook. I think I've overanalyzed this one, I'm a little bit nervous is the whole turning on a hill thing that gets me. This trail has got to be one of the wilder things I've ever driven in the 30 and my biggest fear on this section is a wheel lift going a bit too far. Oh my. Whoa. That actually put the wind up me a little bit that one. Got a big wheel lift, I had to ride through that. Slightly bad line, it just skidded off a little bit. I reckon if I didn't hold that, it would have been very ugly. You're not my friend. You're not my <laughs> sorry, friend. Sorry, mate, I'm so sorry. <laughs> my heart stopped. Really? I had to ride through that wheel oh, lift. Oh my, it just was going and kept going. Big wheel lift. Oh my God. <laughs> Jimmy ran up, he's home. I think he's at the hotel. Oh no, <laughs> that's a bad thing when oh. people go after me because I don't make it look easy sometimes. Nah, that's enough for me. I just watched Sean just lift a big wheel. Whenever he lifts a wheel, I lift twice as high. I'm still a bit shook from this morning. Just a few hours ago, Timmy had a heart-stopping moment on a challenge called the launch pad, coming very, very close to losing control on a big exposed slab, which has left him pretty shaken. I thought I was dead. You gotta know your limits, and Tim's made the right call here. If there's one thing we stand by, it's to support your mates when the going gets tough. We don't want Tim to end up on his own, so we've G'd him up to ride shotgun for a little bit, and that gives Jock his first chance to get behind the wheel of the US's answer to a Hilux. Oh, there's a little wheel lift, I got you there. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna lie, I felt a little bit more shook at this than the Jeep. Oh boy. That's you, brother. Dylan's used the Tacoma's long wheelbase to his advantage here and rides through the bumps all the way to the top. All the way, baby! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was insane. My heart is through the roof right now. It's just, you stand there and you're the last one in the group and the nerves just keep climbing as each person goes through. I'm happy if that's the end of that. It's tough. This is an eight out of 10 track in the um, middle of Moab, so you know there's cars that have got low center of gravity, big tires, and all the rest of it doing it, even buggies doing this sort of stuff. So um, Tim's just having a second to 
to sit down and take it all in. And uh, hopefully you'll get his confidence back this Arvo because there's some cool tracks to drive, not just scary ones, there's some real fun ones too. And hopefully that's what we've got in store for the Arvo. After a few deep breaths, Timbo's back on the horse and on the move. On you, mate. Ahead is a lookout that makes Where Eagles Dare worth all that butt puckering effort. An incredible view across the canyons and enormous arches of Moab. If there was ever a view to remind us just how far away we are from the tracks of home, this has got to be it. Get a load of that, mate. Everywhere you look in this place, the views are just out of control. I've been saying this so many times, mate. It's a postcard wherever you turn, and uh, that doesn't even get me worried, mate. What gets me worried <laughs> is where we're driving next. That looks out of control. Now, this might look like an impossible sandstone climb, but apparently there's a drivable line in there somewhere. And again, those little white markers are the only guide. For the locals, this type of wheelie might be all in a day's work, but for the rest of us, this is unlike anything we've ever experienced before. Sure, we're used to hectic angles, but here, those angles come with huge drops down into deep ravines, and there's nothing to stop you from a long ride to the bottom if you get it wrong. Just... You feel all your suspension start to compress and just when you're driving along this thing it's about 30 odd degrees on the side of a cliff. Oh my goodness. Soon we're up on the summit of Where Eagles Dare and there's a few line options to check out. What's really cool about Moab is you can come to places like this and it's a bit of a choose your own adventure. You've got three different lines you can take to get over this sort of hill. Now this is the one we're going to take wild. It's sketchy, it's off camp, yeah. but very steep. This one <laughs> Next level. If you're trying to explain it, like it might not look much, but you're on the crest of a hill and then you've got to turn halfway up the hill, you're off cambered, and then you climb a step and you're up over this big old rhino horn up the top there. Yeah, and there's even another one over there, which is just like, I reckon that's proper buggy spec. This one's a cracker, mate. It's going to be wild. Thank God you're going first, <laughs> yeah, mate. let's do it. Oh yeah, that's steep. Super steep, but like everything we've driven so far, it's uh, super grippy, boys. You'll nail that one. Wish me luck. And up that super steep. <laughs> it's wild when all you do is you're driving and you're just looking at the sky. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is actually cool. All right, we're going down. Oh my god. So I'm still getting my confidence back after the last episode. I'm going to be honest with you, shook. Shook is an understatement. You've got to give Tim some extra credit here. He's not only got a full touring setup, but is also loaded up with heaps of the crew's gear. And the big mitts canopy is loaded to the brim. <sighs> I learned to breathe. Dylan's running a manual transmission that requires just a little bit more commitment on these climbs, but he's nailed it. We're up and over. On to the next. Just like that. After an eventful few hours, we rejoin the main trifecta trail about halfway up the route on a section known as Golden Spike. The trail follows the edge of a ridge line for several miles and is jam packed full of rocky challenges. Up, up you go, up you go. Perfect! Yeah! Oh, look at that! And to add to the fun, it looks like there's a huge, big storm front about to roll in. Down I go! My heart. Ah! I'm going to go down here. There's a little safer one down here that's not as undercut. <laughs> as soon as you get the temperature change that we have here, all this wind in the desert means one thing, and it's rain. I can see it coming around. That rain hits these rock steps. It's going to completely change the dynamics of Moab, and it's going to get real sketchy real quick. The best part about the trifecta is once you start, the only way out is to finish the entire trail. And we've got at least 10 miles still to go before the exit, with several big obstacles between us and the finish. Lovely. Ah. Lovely. The first one was the A line, second one was the B line, this one's the C line. It's about where I was at, at school as well. This is epic. I don't know if you can hear how windy it is right now. I mean, I'm top of a hill. And we've got plenty more of this track to do. It's just gotten real. 
Lucky there's raptor coating on those uh, rock sliders. They're getting a workout. And the rear bar. Oh! Oh! Yeah, bucket's tough. The lightning has the camera guys scrambling, but the real concern here is the rain. Well lads, as if my wasn't already awesome enough, it's now raining and I'm driving up a rock step. Yep, lightning all around us mate. I just saw one crack probably about 500 metres from us. Windscreen wipers, wheel and rocks in Moab. <laughs> Rocks and rain are not really a combo you'd normally want to put together, and we're just hoping things don't get too slippery as we roll up to the next Good. challenge. That's it. I love that line. Yeah, a little wheelie, that's all right. You can do that. That's me. Yep. Phew! The golden Very crack. well done. Oh, that yes. That's, that's the line. It, that is definitely the line. How's this? This is wild. It's going to feel super ugly coming through here, but just nice and slow. Let the suspension do all the work here. That's the bottom now. Yeah. Flex it up, baby! It's a wheel lift. <laughs> he can talk monster. She talks up and over sometimes. <laughs> Rain's cleared and getting late today, mate. It's just challenge after challenge after challenge. It does not stop, and yeah. we've still got one of the final three tracks to go. We haven't mm. even got the start of that one yet. <laughs> so I think it's waterfall and it's been raining. I, yeah, I've got no idea what's ahead. All I know is it's going to be a night run. There's, there's no two ways about it. My favorite. If it's boys. already nearly eight o'clock at night, <laughs> we're going to be on the track for a little while, boys. Sure enough, the daylight is fast running out, and up ahead is a set of rock steps that nearly caught our camera vehicle out. The problem here is the spacing of the steps, which you end up having to climb both at once if you tackle it head on. Woo -wee! And with all the weight in the back of the camera car, coming at it from an grab angle it, isn't it, much it, better. It, yeah, well played. Tried to do a bit of a 45, bit of left right good night as they say, but there's glass down there as witness marks from it happening. As you can see right now, it's doing exactly oh, that. Uh, so we probably shouldn't go this way. <laughs> we can try and pack your back. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. This is not Chase. This is other people that have tried to drive here. This is a lot of glass. More glass down here. This is because people think they can go sideways on a rock step and they break the everything, they roll over. Come close probably three times in that climb. There's just nothing to winch off for the lead vehicle. And in the end, the solution is to shimmy onto the first ledge and drive a little further down. Go, go. Yep, that's you, that's you, stop, stop, stop. Cool, beautiful. You're up, man, well done. With the vehicle ahead to winch off if things go south, the rest of us can try this one head on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> what a rig! That's the thing, you gotta be committed on this one. Momentum, baby. Yeah, I was like, I hope you guys get out of the way. I'm about to do the boogaloo. I think if I do that, I'll roll over. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know, I don't know. So sometimes the key with the old double step is you don't wanna get to it and not have momentum carrying you through. But the problem with that is you just need to commit and it'll either work or you'll know if it doesn't. It happened to work in a Jeep because it doesn't weigh that much. I was able to roll into the climb. We'll see what happens with Sean's vehicle. Your front locker's not in. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Locker's on. That's you, mate. Give it a drive. Go. Drive, drive, drive. Drive that more. Stop. The Tacomas have got a longer wheelbase that makes it really catch on that double step. And after a big day, Tim's just opted to winch this one. Winch and drive slowly. That's it. Bit of right end. Bit of right. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Got gotcha, you, brother. 
This is gonna be a lot. It's like a triple step and these long trucks are trying to climb both the steps at the exact same time. That's you. Oh boy. You, you got, got it, man. You got it. Nah, nah, you, you I hesitated. It yeah. I gotta give it a little more throttle control there. Yeah, roger that, dial it up a bit. It should be right. I was in four, now I'm gonna go to, maybe we'll just do U9. Yeah, nice, good call. In Australia, this is called a patrol bump, where you get the front up and bump the rear. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the Tacoma bump. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That was exhilarating. Knight has well and truly fallen by the time he hit the third and final leg of the trifecta. Driving these rocks at night is a whole other experience, but with the steadies lighting up the way ahead, we're making progress. We are now into track three of the trifecta, well and truly into track three, and we're on Gold Bar Rim doing a night run. A tough one, no doubt about it. Everything is a challenge. Look at this, just, can you just turn over there for two secs? Jeff's taking another line. It's a, it's a bold line, that one. He's having fun. That's what it's all about. This is epic. This is some of the most fun I've had in a very long time in a full drive. This Jeep, absolute rig. The boys are frothing behind me. Music's playing. Lights are on. Rock lights are on. Everyone's having a great time. Whoa. You just never know if you're going to fall off a cliff or <laughs> Oh, my goodness. This is so much fun. Rock is on. Have a go. Easy. Look at that. Loves it. Front tires came up and just <laughs> through it. Oh yeah, this is pretty sketch. Beautiful. Straight up. Loves it. Up big rock steps in the night. Moab. Didn't think I'd be doing this in the dark or the rain, but tell you what. <laughs> Still a hoot. Give it a punt. Give it a punt. That's it. That's it. Yes, Timmy! Yes, yes boy! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> mate, you weapon. You Thanks, weapon. Mate. You got it. You got this. <laughs> hey? You were dead, right? It's easy as pie. It's just. Oh. Dude, it's I'm not shot. just easy as pie. Shot. It's sick. <laughs> Rocks, dude. Rocks, dude. Yeah. Yes, Dale! Woo! There's my tail shaft! <laughs> well, I forgot about that. <laughs> tail shaft is great. <laughs> well yeah, done, brother. Well, well done, mate. Well done. Oh, so good. Nothing like doing that at night. It's scary in the day, and at night you can't see anything. It's even worse. We've been warned that this section of trail has one big obstacle to overcome. A challenge considered hard enough for a dedicated winch point to have been driven into the rock. And soon enough, we're up on it. Wow. Mate, this is a serious step. Save the best to last, yes, I reckon. definitely. <laughs> have a crack at that. Is there traction on that? I don't know. Uh, try, and, try and climb it. No, oh, not, not heaps. <laughs> not heaps. That is intense. I reckon we're going to have a work cut out for us on this one. Yeah. Are you right? If this is one of the normal sort of rocks, I'd be quite confident. Being at night, and about two and a half, three metres. What's that in feet? T ten? It's about eight foot. Eight foot, there you go. That's a big old rock, if you ask ten. me. I'm giving him a 20% chance of making it, but 100% effort's gonna go in. Yeah, 100% is going in. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate, we've got confidence. Up you come. <laughs> come on, Jeep, show them how it's done. <laughs> Oh. I think I nearly set the airbags off when yeah, I hit you, the you hit, rock. You hit pretty hard. You just lawn darted the wall. Just <laughs> boom. I was like, oh, sorry, Jeep. Anyway, up we go. Sell oh, that high ass when you get home, mate. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeep has made this one look too easy, but Jock has set the benchmark now, and I'm going to have to try and follow. <sighs> Come on, old girl. You can do this. I'm quietly confident. If he gets into it from the bottom, yeah, 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 yeah. He might hit his bar like I did. He doesn't have airbags, so he won't set him off, but he has to go from like here. <laughs> I need a better approach angle. <laughs> Everybody do it. 
<laughs> Don't go back too far, there's a cliff behind you. It's going to be embarrassing if I can't get the front wheels up. Thank you, ref. <laughs> oh. oh, that's scary. Windscreen wipers came on in that. I did a big old left, right, good night in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> epic, mate. Epic. That was awesome. Oh, wow. All right, Timbo's up next. Hard in the big long wheel base, I yeah, reckon. Yeah, yep. But the good news is if he gets his front up, True, that's exactly right. Maybe the rear's still halfway down. Yeah, the, the, the last exactly. trail back there. Exactly, and he also needs to fit up here too. <laughs> Should we get out of the way? Or yeah, probably. We nearly died before when you were. <laughs> that's all he is. Yeah, that's nice, mate. Oh yeah, nah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It'll smooch it a bit, but it should be right. We can't get the winch there anyway, so you gotta have to come further. <laughs> Tim's had a roller coaster of a day today. But if he can bring the big taco up this one, I reckon he can end it on a high. It's, it's so steep. That's it. It's I'm just lawn dart straight at the end of it. <laughs> it's amazing. You gotta go on in a bit of an angle, I did anyway. We don't know how to Jeep approach angles. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yes! Oh! 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 <laughs> the Tacoma's been having some ongoing brake dramas this trip, and despite jumping on the brake pedal, the vehicle's just flown over the lip and right into the rocks. Timbo! <laughs> 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 oh I was trying to stop and it just kept going and I was like, what was on the floor of the brakes? You pulled like, another gear when you're at the top though. <laughs> we went from a second of like, yeah, he's up to <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> you made it, bro. You've done it. I can't believe I got You've that. You've done it. You've done it. Ow! You smoked the tyre, but uh... otherwise, brilliant drive. Yeah. That was insane. You got uphill and you couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, Look, honest oh, to God, my foot was at the floor and I was like, which, on, on the accelerator? Or the <laughs> I've only got the front brakes, that's it. So just. You know, look, I honestly didn't think you were going to put that much effort in. <laughs> I actually brought the snatch recovery bag down. I sat it right there just in case. Oh, I might need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have we put it there. What a drive. Thanks, mate. What a drive. Wow. That's commitment. But the other thing is you do have a flat tire, so <laughs> that's going to be Yeah. <laughs> Lucky that's all that's wrong with it. So we just, if we can just crawl up there with a flat. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to firstly get him off this ledge. He should be able to limp it forward on that ruined tire. I'm pretty sure the rim's cooked anyway. And we're going to have to change it because the tire has a hole in it. Um, and then we're going to get it up to the flat, jack it up and change the tire. Go back a little bit more, mate. While Tim limps it to the top, Dylan takes on the climb. I just think after seeing what Tim did, he might not be as gun ho. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, oh. see, that's it's tough, even with the 38s. Yeah, he's got it. Then to me, yep, 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 you're up. Just hook it. Yeah. Yeah, easy. That's a fair call. We've had just about as much excitement as you pack into a day, and we're all pretty keen to make it to the finish. Perfect. Beautiful, mate. First though, we're gonna sort Tim's front tire. This one is a bin job, so it's out with a spare. Well, I gotta say, Epic. Epic, mate. The trifecta. There's one word. Yeah. One Epic. word to describe it. Some of the most fun I've ever had four-wheel driving. Yeah. Some of the toughest stuff I've ever tried to do. Yeah. Some mental. of the most insane things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Let's get off the track and try and find a campsite, eh? Yeah, I think uh, there's one at the end of the trail, so. <sighs> at long last, almost 16 hours after we started, we roll into camp at the end of the trifecta.
This has been a huge bucket list item ticked off, but tomorrow promises to be just as huge as we line up perhaps the most famous trail in Moab. For now, it's time to recharge the batteries with a good feed and I've got just the meal in mind. Well, I've got to be honest with you, some of the tracks we have driven, not just today, but over the last few days in Moab have been nothing short of amazing, real sort of bucket list tracks. And this could be our last cook up on American soil. So I need to do something kind of special. We have a lot going on. Hello mate. Hello. I've come to give you a hand. So I want to do some sort of American all-star sort of cook up. Right? I love American food Tailgating, so have you heard of tailgating? It's where you're real close to someone when you're driving, is it? Yeah, and oh, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, they do that at uh, Talladega, they have the cook off the back of the tailgate. Everyone's cooking. Yeah, and you sound food, you drink some beers. Exactly, yeah, I know what you're talking exactly. about. So we're tailgating tonight, big about. boy. And um, so Perfect. in here, I actually prepared these a little bit earlier. Oh, yum. So I've got some chicken wings. So now they've been soaking in buttermilk. These ones, you'll be familiar with those, Jocko. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're big. No, <laughs> they're little wieners. And um, <laughs> they're brilliant for hot dogs. We're gonna be doing some hot dogs yep, as well. Yep. So imagine wings, yep, hot, hot dogs. dogs. And of and course, the third one's gotta be a rack of ribs. That. Ribs. I'm not gonna cook all these myself. Yep. I'm gonna get the boys to come and help. So ribs, I reckon I'd give this to Timbo. He looks like a bloke yeah, who's, yeah, yeah. who's been around a barbecue a few yeah. times. This I is, have this covered. This is all you, mate. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, they're going to probably take the longer, so you get them on quick. I reckon we'll do the wings. Yep. If you wouldn't mind <laughs> the wings. I love to boil your wieners. As an American, do you have any hot tips for cooking wings? I've never honestly seen them soaked in buttermilk. Okay, so we're already off to oh, a, we're already, a, we're already a red already hot start. Up. Okay. A red hot start. Okay. This is all new for me. Okay, okay. Well, you deal with those, mate, and I'll uh, pre present some of the best wings you've ever had in your life. We're gonna make like a little seasoning mixture up. Yeah, I'll give you, give you some flour, mm -hmm. some seasoning, some garlic, salt, some paprika, mm -mm -mm. some chili lime seasoning blend. Yeah, that'll help. Fair bit. Be generous on the salt. Get Looking some good. forearm work out here. It really does, mate. Not that you need any more help. <laughs> Righto. So, so just seal her up and just give that a little bit of a shake just to mix the ingredients. So what we're gonna do is basically drain some of the excess buttermilk off and they just go straight in like that. The idea is is all the chicken is, is now sort of wet from the buttermilk. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get coated really nice and it's gonna stick to it. And now if I'll just grab one of these out just to show you guys what we're dealing with. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right if you can right. get that on the heat, mate, we'll get that nice and hot. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna cut these little bad boys up. So to right that. So get that nice and hot. I'll prepare some of these. Yep, in. throw them in. Look at that. Oh yeah. So we're not gonna overcrowd it, we're gonna do these in batches. Yeah, they need room to breathe. So that can sit right there. What do they look at? Oh, <laughs> Jocko, don't, don't move them. Basically we're cooking the chicken for about sort of 12 to 15 minutes and um, they're all going in here and they're super crispy, let me tell you. Now this is looking good. Have a look at that. Look at that. They are looking red hot. Chuck Just them in there. there. This oh, is our, our last yum. batch of chicken. You chuck those in, Jocko. Yeah, I'm gonna that. get some tay tots on the go. Now we call these potato gems back home. These little guys, at the taters are going into some oil. Oh, chicken, tater tots. Hot dogs, Hot dogs. Ribs. Ribs. <laughs> oh. How's that, oh. eh? How's that? Oh, they're crunchy and they're all together. You know what? They're gonna be super yummy. Mm -hmm. The boys are doing really well too. They're nearly done. Oh, I'm so excited for what this. What you mate. could do, open mm -hmm. that up mm -hmm. and we're gonna chuck in some sweet baby rays oh. buffalo. Okay. Look, at, look at that. Just look at that. That is all time. That is oh. honestly some of the better chicken wings I've ever cooked, man. That, that, they're looking real good. That, that is so good. Okay, that's it. And then I've got some um, blue cheese ranch for the other side, mate. Now, we're just gonna have a secret corner for those that wanna step up. Yeah, that's that's uh, Chase's corner. <laughs> Do you want some help there? Yeah. Oh. How hot is that? Just give it another finger. Oh, that's a bit of a <laughs> What are you talking? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where we going here? Dude, where's that? that? That'll give you wings, that one. Oh, dude. That's insane. I had to dilute it. I'm bit. actually in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it's bingo, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dude, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I've never seen this in the shops at home. Don't go laugh, it's better, man. Mouth. What's a sco is a scorpion chili? Yeah, something like that. I didn't read the packet, bro. <laughs> It just says extra hot. I was thinking, oh yeah, Tabasco, I'll smoke that. My lips are so dry from the, oh, <laughs> the desert. There. I'm in pain, dude. They're burning. Oh. It says great on wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great on wings. I'll go get the boys to bring a plate and maybe a cold drink. Oh. Look, mate, 
I have actually tailgated. Oh, at oh dude. Oh, yeah. And then Check final this. touch. Oh, oh no way. Oh, of course you do. Oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> We have a feast for the ages. Can I can I just start with tater tots? They're, they're more of a side hors d'oeuvre, not one of the main tracks on the trifecta. We have a bunch of wings here with buffalo sauce. Timbo, ribs? Ribs. Ne Solid ribs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah at yum, that. dude. They're gonna be good. They're yeah. gonna be good. Break those little guys up, I reckon. Jump yep. in, fellas. Grab a wing, grab a dog. You put a little bit of that extra spice in Oh, there. man. That is proper. That is proper. Oh, it's good. Mmm. What a way to wrap up potentially our last camp meal on the tracks with a proper trifecta, mate. As a local American, what do you reckon? Is this? It's good. It's good? It's, it's good. all right? It's all right. Well, if you think this is good, tomorrow night I've got something even more special planned. Another one. Oh, yeah. mate. We've got a bunch more tracks to drive, plus something. I'm excited. It's going to be, be hard really to beat cool. this, mate, but I I'm know. keen. I know. How good. Dig in, mm. boys. We'll need all our energy tomorrow, mate. Mm -hmm. Last night, we rolled into camp with no idea what was around us. And it was a shock to wake up this morning and realise what a perler of a spot we've been camped at. A stunning desert canyon all to ourselves. Moab has been full of surprises for us. But the trail we have planned for today is known the world over. The infamous Hell's Revenge Trail. We're going to need some big kahunas to make it through today's challenges. So Tim and Dylan are rallying the troops with a breakfast of champions. So we've got a lot of mouths to feed, including the camera crew. Those boys deserve a good meal this morning. We've got waffles on the go. And we've also got uh, the induction cooker out of Dillo's car, out of the red up one. And then we've got the little gas cooker as well. So we've got three packets of bacon, two packets of waffles, and some 100% uh, pure Canadian maple syrup. Bacon and waffles. Mm. Drive anything, yeah. I'm actually so impressed with how well this Jeep's gone. I've given it such a hard time on these Moab tracks. It's been bashed around, beaten, bruised. But one of the areas that I think has been copying it the most is the bar work. Particularly the sliders, I've been using them to pivot around rocks. Obviously they're protecting the sills of the vehicle. But uh, before this trip, we actually wrapped a coated all the bar work on the Jeep. I've wrapped a coated the bar work on all of my four wheel drives at home. Most people with bar work, they powder coat everything and that looks great until you scratch it. And then when you touch it up again, you can actually see where you've touched it up. The only way to make powder coated bar work look nice again is to rip it off, get it sandblasted and powder coated again, which can be expensive if you're doing it every couple of trips. But with Raptor, once you get it all coated and it looks nice after a couple of hard trips on rocks, like we've just done, you get a few scratches underneath here. You can actually touch it up at home and it really does look like you've just put it on for the first time. It makes it look nice again. It just makes your four wheel drive look that little bit better if you're using it hard like I am with the Jeep. We've already been pushed well outside our comfort zone on the trails so far, but Hell's Revenge features a few challenges that are well known for causing four wheel drive fails and rollovers. The nerves are building a bit as we prepare for the day, but also the excitement because today, let's face it, is gonna be wild. Another epic day in Moab, mate, and there's one track that we cannot come to Moab without giving it a crack. You know the one I'm talking about, don't you? Mate, you haven't stopped talking about this one since we uh, landed in Moab. You're talking about Hell's Revenge, aren't you? The big one? I absolutely am, mate. One of the most iconic tracks in Moab, and I am keen as to give it a crack. I reckon. Oh, look at that smile on your face in the rearview mirror, mate. You're frothing to give it a go as well, eh? Yep, I'm talking tough now, mate. That's for sure. I reckon when I see it, uh, I'm going to be... A little bit humbled, I can't wait mate, it's obviously been a bucket list thing for me to do. Let's um, let's go give it, give it a go, eh? Hell's Revenge starts off pretty innocent at a small car park out the back of Moab. But make no mistake, this is no easy trail, featuring some insane obstacles that it's hard to fathom how you can drive. Here we go, the entrance to Hell's Revenge. I've wanted to do this track for years. I'm finally doing it in a Jeep on the way with the boys. 
This is epic. The amount of times I've watched videos on this track and dreamt about doing it, and we are finally here. <laughs> this is insane so far. We haven't got to the start yet. I'm very nervous, John. I'm not gonna lie to you, mate. Having a ball, but I'll be better when we get off this hill. <laughs> this is straight out of the car park. What the actual heck, mate? Oh, this is unreal. What a dream come true. Holy heck. I can't look either way. Oh, far out. What the actual, yeah, yeah. That was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. I'm just gonna have to trust to watch the video to see what the view's like from up here because I'm not looking either way to the side, that's for sure. The track winds its way over these huge sandstone ridges and just the track entry is keeping us pretty busy. There we go, that was the line I wanted. After five or so days on the tracks, it feels like we're starting to get the hang of these rocky sections. The grip is incredible, but with such big steps, line choice is still everything. Touch it this way, mate. Yep. Beautiful. Right up. <laughs> Nicely done, right. mate. Approach angles away. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Oh, every time I look at these steps, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a bit, oh, I'm up already. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's vertical and it's still somehow climbing. That is amazing. That is absolutely insane. That defies physics. Around every corner in Moab is some new surprises that just blows you away. And this is no exception. <laughs> Driving so many things out of my comfort zone on this trip. And uh, I've got to admit, I am loving it. Can't say a... Thing. I get why Elsa Revenge is such a popular and iconic track. It's just amazing. Amazing scenery, amazing challenges. It's going to be one of the coolest tracks in the world. Soon enough, we're here. The entry to the main challenge. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Down I go. Is it weird that my right leg's shaking a bit? I thought I was tapping to the music before, but I turned the music off and the foot's still shaking. That's you, baby! <laughs> That's me. That's it. Yep. Straighten up and down oh, you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. The big slot car challenge. Right hand down a bit, mate. That's it. That's it. Ah. Woo! Smidge your left. That's you, mate. Perfect. That's all you, brother. Down you go. Gravity will do it for you. Use the engine if it starts to slide. Holy. On some of this steep stuff when you're going down, sometimes if you tap the brakes, it'll just lock the wheels up, then you start to slide. A lot of the time, you're best off using engine braking and just keeping the wheels turning. Because if you get a little bit jumpy and you slam your foot on the brakes and you slide, you can come out a bit and then you're offline and it can go pear-shaped real fast. So. Just using the engine, slow as smooth and smooth as fast. Just around the bend is the climb that gives this place its name, Hell's Gate. An insane challenge that requires you to straddle this crack all the way to the top. Mighty Hell's Gate. I'm so excited. This is amazing. It's everything I thought it would be as well. It looks a bit sketch and uh, that's an understatement. It looks real sketch it actually. It does, it does. If it was a straight, you'd have no dramas in the world, but mm -hmm. you've got to do two turns in there, which yeah. is... Indeed. I think you just want to make sure you don't turn too early. I think that's, that's where key. people mm -hmm. get it wrong. Mm -hmm. But the good news for me is you're going first. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll spot you the best of my ability, mate. And um, I think if it's like anything like Moab, you'll get so much traction on here, you could almost stop on there, start again, roll back. You could, I, I, I hope you don't do any of those, but- We'll you, see what happens you'll first. Be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, all right, mate. Well, there's only one way for me to find out how hard Hell's Gate is, and that's to get up it. So- uh, Have a go. Watch this, eh? Very cool, <laughs> mate, very cool. Jocko's the first cab off the rank. I'm gonna spot him through here and um, get his tires up nice and high. I think once he straddles through, the vehicle will stay nice and stable. Suspension might move around. The sketchy bit's gonna be this bit here, I reckon, where he's gotta sort of get up and turn over this ledge. But I think we've overanalyzed it. Let's just send him up and see what happens. All right, Hell's Gate, it's finally time. Been dreaming about it. Now it's time to drive it. Let's see how we go. Come on, Jeep dog. Let's get All up. Right. Come on, Jocko, you got this, mate. 
you really can't gauge just how steep something mm -hmm. is on video. Trust me, this is about as steep as it gets. That's it. Turn a little bit to me. Mm -hmm. The most dangerous part of Hell's Gate is his middle yep. section right here. That's you want to perfect. keep your tyres on either side of that valley as you climb over these steps. And it's when people slip in that you see all those YouTube fails happen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hell's Gate, you beauty! Ho oh, ho ho! Oh, that's mad. Now yeah, I'm up, bugger. Late nights when you can't sleep, looking at YouTube videos. Moab, Utah's what I'd be watching. And Hell's Gate is one of them. And I just drove it. <laughs> How amazing is this? All right, saddle up, lock and load. If there's a challenge that I've been losing sleep over for the whole trip, it's gotta be this one. But to have the opportunity to bring my rig all the way from Australia to try it, well, it's an opportunity that's too good to miss. Never thought I'd be in the Dirty 30 staring down the barrel of Hell's Gate here in Moab. This is gonna be epic. Just keep it nice and stable. And the good thing is because he's got an auto, he can really just take his time and make sure he gets that line perfect. He'll nail it. Righto, mate. This is it, I'm doing it. Tackle it bit by bit, that's the key. Brother, spin your right, spin your right, yep. Watch him, I spot up. Woo, slippy. That's all right. What happened, Jocko? It just slipped in. Yeah, I know that. It just slipped off right at that last bit, you're up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I turn into it? What's the go? Yeah, you can try. It's going to feel a bit weird, but you should be able to flex or, it out. Or maybe I could just drive straight. Yeah, it is going to lift up when you do. So I reverse the end. Huh? So I reverse the end. Nah, try not to go back if you can. Just come forward a bit. You're nice and slow. This is exactly what I hoped wouldn't happen. I've fallen off the line, and now the 30 is practically on its side in the crack. It's going to talk over. Now, I would normally never recommend you do this, but with nothing to winch off, getting that left hand tyre down is the only option. Just nice and steady, edge forward. And Dylan provides some much needed ballast to help level me out. That's it, mate, that's it, nice and steady. That's it, brother, that's it, mate. That's better. Yeah, now turn in, now turn in. That's yeah, beautiful. Now speed your left, yep. Yeah, yeah, come that way. Beautiful, mate, beautiful. That's it. Speed your left now. Yep, that's it. That comes to me. Left hand down. Yeah, <laughs> brother! <laughs> well, it's not the drive I wanted, but I've made it through and the 30 has finally driven up Hell's Gate. Well, that's got, that's, that's got the heart going. Oh my goodness. Not only was that an epic drive, it was a textbook recovery as well. What happened is right as he came up that pinch, his front right tire slipped off as the back was just coming out of a little hole. Because of a bit of rear steel, it was kind of just flexing into it, it slipped off. I probably should have steered him up the wall a little bit more and then he slipped in. But what matters more is he was able to commit to it. It was talking over that way. We were able to just get him through that last little pinch. He could reset and away he went. That was beautiful. Hey, Timmy, how you feeling, mate? I know it's a silly question, but uh, I want to hear it from the mouth of the horse. So I was uh, quietly confident when I saw Drock drive it. And then when you slipped in, it rattled me again. So lucky third, eh? But if it gives you any confidence, mate, we still drove out even though we slipped in. So that should give you plenty of confidence. Yeah, I'm, f I'm feeling it. We got this. Come on. There's no other way to get it done but up. So let's let's rip and tear, eh? I love your style, mate. Let's give it a go. 
Locked, locked, locked. Yep. In there, a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Little bit of. Yep. That's it, mate. That's it. Easy. For a bloke that nearly rolled off a cliff just yesterday, Tim is back in fine form and rides through a terrifying wheel lift on that big step. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh my God. All day, sir. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> well, Timmy boy. Well done, Tim. Timmy boy! Oh my god. What a there, son. Oh my you god. You nailed that. Absolutely oh. nailed it. I was just like, I'm just tunnel vision, eh? Yeah, that was And perfect. it's like, not scary, committing, yeah. or scary, committing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you should. Sure. You just drove Hell's Gate. Thank you. Well done. I'm parched. This is going to be rough. Hell's Gate. I've done it once before. I was on 35s, it was sketchy, now I'm on 38s with less torque, so, and probably a bit heavier. Whoo, the nerves are getting to me. The nerves are getting to me. It's gonna be interesting to see how he goes with that clutch manual. He's gonna to have to ride it a bit, and I reckon he's gonna to have to have a little bit more pace than what Timmy did, but he has driven this before, so we'll see how he goes. I reckon he's gonna absolutely nail it. Right on, mate. All right. If I make this look half as good as Timmy, he'll yeah. be all right. Oh boy. White knuckling, white knuckling. That's what he needs to, that's the pace, eh? Hey? Yeah, that's the pace. Is that about my pace? Mm, a bit yours, a bit, yours a bit slower. Oh, he's high. Yeah. Get me a bit, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a bit too far in the V, you might need Ooh. to come up. I'll just go back. Keep going back, keep going back. Go a bit left hand down now. Oh boy. Yeah, that's you, mate. Smidge left, smidge left, that's it. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, that's it. Yeah, that's you, mate. Ooh. You're not hanging around, up he gets. Oh boy. Yeah, Dill! Oh. Oh. I'm just shaking. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah buddy! That was so sick! Oh, oh man. Oh my god, you just. Oh, oh, just... Oh, god. Yes. oh boy. Even when you slipped in a bit, you're like, nah, we're on. Yeah. And up you went. I couldn't let off. Yeah. Uh, if I let off, it was going paired. No, yeah. you went so good. Oh. Dude, nailed it. Oh, thank you. Well Dude. done. Good oh. drive. Boys, Hell's Gate. Hell's done. Gate, well done, fellas. Epic drives all round. <laughs> That's a nerve. My hands are numb. <laughs> I don't blame you, mate. Mine's still are going a bit hard. Well, we can tick that one straight off the bucket list, mate. Yep. Done. And uh, all cars on all fours. Brilliant. That's a win. That's a yeah. win. Onwards, eh? I need something to drink. Yeah. <laughs> thirsty, mate. Thirsty. <laughs> what do you reckon? Would you take your rig up Hell's Gate? Or have you? Let us know in the comments. Hell's Gate, tick. That's awesome. I've wanted to drive that for just about ever. One of the cool things about this Jeep though is before this trip, we installed a new uni clutch in it. It feels like a factory clutch, but it can handle way more. It's a twin plate clutch, so it's perfect if you've got bigger tires and your vehicle's highly modified like this one, but you still want just that factory feel when you're driving. You don't have to worry about when you install a heavy duty clutch and it's just hard to change gears, you're refilling on the clutch pedal. You get none of that with this clutch and I had plenty of control up Hell's Gate and the Jeep loved it. Pretty cool. Just when we thought Moab couldn't throw any more surprises at us, we're up on a section full of what the locals call hot tubs. Jock's had a crack at one of the smaller ones. Still pretty big. <laughs> but he's soon eyeing off a tub that looks a lot more daunting. I've watched lots of videos on it, seen uh, cheap Jeeps with much bigger tires flip. I don't know if I want to give it a go in this. It does look cool. I'm just looking at it now. Jock, this is to get the Mayor of Moab Award. 
If you, if you drive this, they let you actually be the mayor for a day. <laughs> if you ask me, mate, you cannot come to Moab without driving this. Now, obviously, you should give this a crack. I have done this previously, way before Facebook was invented. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What car were you in? Um, all of them, and um, <laughs> and the memory card in my camera got corrupted, oh, okay, so I've got yeah, no photos, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. But um, this is all you, man. You reckon? I think, honestly, like, if I be serious for two seconds, I think you can easily do that. Now, in, fact, in fact, I think we've all done harder things than this. Yeah. It's just this rock wall that's a little bit shocking right near the side here. You can see where there's witness marks of people who've done it. At least it's still- Some witness marks up here too. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks like people have slipped in and gone, oh. Yeah, so you won't do that, mate. No, I won't do I that. I've got faith. I've got faith you're gonna be fine for this one. Yeah. This is you, mate. This is all you. This you can't come to Moab and not, what is it? Mickey's hot tub. You can't- Jockey's hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Your jockey's hot tub. If you've been it, it's gonna be renamed Jockey's hot tub. <laughs> all, right. all right, we'll give it a go then, eh? Good luck, mate. Good Thanks, luck. Thanks, mate. Good luck. When you're standing here, it's gonna to wanna to push you in there, but if you just got that right amount of momentum, which is not too much. Hey, do any of you boys wanna jump in the Jeep and come passenger? I think it's talking to you, Tim. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is hell. It's <laughs> hot. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for you, mate. But there's only one human I trust in this Your wife? four-wheel drive. <laughs> it's you. It's hard to get a sense of just how steep these tubs are. And that's until you get a vehicle into them. That way a little bit, bro. Yeah. I can't see your spotting anymore. The entry is one thing. Jesus. But the climb out yeah. is practically a vertical wall. That's that's pretty wild oh. seeing a car in there. Ready? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Oh. I've seen a few things in my time off-road, but a four-wheel drive nearly rolling over backwards. Well, that's even a new one for us. Reach for the stars, kiddo. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're gonna have to, you might just scrape a fracco, but just go back a little bit. Just go slow, bro. Am I about to tip backwards? This is the steepest angle I've ever been on in my life. You been too, dude. <laughs> 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 oh my God, dude. The Jeep has ended up in a bit of an awkward spot here, but with the front end totally unweighted, if I send it from here, we could be quickly on our lid. How's that side looking? That's just in the buffer. You're past a scary bit, I think. If you can straighten those tires no. up, mate. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. And if it does start, just no, reverse it. Uh, yep. We're not you're going right, again, just go slow. Are we going again? Just, I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this trail trying to climb the wall. Am Is I good? It, it's not gonna be great. If you can go right and just creep forward, because the rear needs to come this way a bit. Should we get a strap on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the rear's talking me over. Yeah. You, you need to get that rear over to Fracco. Yeah. Maybe if we just get like a tree trunk and just pull that side down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Yeah? Oh, I, you're good, brother. You're good. Can I get it? No, you can't get out. Can I get it out? <laughs> <laughs> this is epic. This is epic, Jocko. It really is, mate. So is that the steepest you've ever been, you reckon? That's the closest I've felt towards going back that way. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Jocko still reckons he can drive this, but we're gonna need to reposition. And with the Jeep sitting on a close to 80 degree angle, getting on the runva is the safest option. Right, in this situation, what I wanna do is I wanna bring Jocko's front over across, but I don't want his back to climb anymore. So he's gonna literally put his foot on the brake He's gonna use the winch to just pull that nose across. We use the 30 as an anchor. That way he'll be square in the hole, and that's where he wants to be. Just, just winch, no drive. That seems better. After a few stressful moments, the Jeep is sitting way more square on the lip. Yeah, you can go back a bit, bit more. And Tim has generously given up his spot so Sean can have a crack at shotgun. Pop in. Oh, mate, I, de I definitely think up there. Yeah, I'll right. stay. I won't turn left. I'm, I'm just going to put my seatbelt on. Yeah, you're right. So I'm not going to lie, uh, it did feel like we were going backwards at one point. <laughs> uh, right. It did actually look like it. Yeah, right. right. See so what happens, mate. Yeah, if it yeah. doesn't get this, we'll winch. With the line sorted, the Jeep has just sailed straight on up like it's climbing a ladder. Mickey would be proud, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting the fear oh, yeah. of the Lord into you, mate. That was a red hot. 
<laughs> There'd be so many locals who probably watched that first drive and were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> never do that. Yeah, you, you don't do that. that. You turn late. But uh, we learned. I just realized how good the air con is yeah, in this nice, vehicle. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, oh. oh Jeeps, mate. You should oh. drive it off camber. It doesn't even feel dangerous. Nah. <laughs> nah. Oh. Well done, boys. Yep. Well done, well done Jock. That's really well done, mate. Maybe I'll earn another ducky. <laughs> Get a ducky for that. <laughs> Getting to experience rock crawling Moab style is an awesome way to wrap up a huge day. We've been blown away by just how friendly and accommodating the people we've met on the journey has been. With that in mind, we've got one more thing to tick off, and that's to try and catch up with some US viewers at a local pub. Moab's doing one thing, when you put it all together, just crazy. Just new experiences and getting out in your four wheel drive and just doing what you love with your mates. We're over here in the States, it's pretty exotic, but just even in our own backyard, we've got some amazing things. Just get out there and explore, get out of your comfort zone, do some new stuff, and trust me on this one, you will not regret it. Tell you what, mate, Moab, other side of the world, wheeling some of the most famous tracks you can drive, and you're in your Land Cruiser, mate. How unreal has this been? Honestly, mate, it's a dream come true, and I just can't believe it, even though I've been doing it for a bit now, it's just the most amazing experience. It's really opened my eyes up to a whole new world of wheeling, mate, and um, I've loved every minute of it. Timbo, mate, you're keen for the pub. I know it's been uh, a couple of spicy sections over the last couple of days in Moab, but you push through like the trooper you are, mate, and uh, I've seen a few smiles on some of those crack and drives you've had. Mate, I've never driven anything that made me happier and sadder all in one go. Moab has been unbelievable. And the, and the whole trip, to be honest with you, is uh, a trip of a lifetime. I can't thank you boys enough. Not forgetting the second taco in the convoy. Dill, mate, bring it up at the back in the big red arc taco. How much fun have you had here? I've had, you know, some of the best laps of my life with you guys. And maybe one day I'll get to the other side of the pond and meet up with you again. Yeah, roger that, mate. You can come wheeling with me anytime, just as long as I can come back and wheel here with you. Boys, what do you reckon? Let's uh, head down to the pub in Moab to catch up with some mates. What do you reckon, eh? Jocko, I couldn't agree more, mate. It's been a blinder, and um, it'll be a shame if we were late, but I wouldn't mind doing one more track, but you're probably right. It's time to probably air up and um, go down to the pub and see who's down there. Yeah, roger that, mate. All right, plenty of rocks to drive on the way out of here, boys. Let's get into it. One more, no more in Moab. Let's finish on a high. Yeah, baby! Oh, Moab! A few days ago, we put a call out on social media offering for anyone who's interested to come and join us for a beer or two at a local watering hole in town. Honestly, we had no idea if anyone would even rock up. And so we got quite a surprise when we rolled in. Believe it or not, we've had fans drive anywhere from 10 to 30 hours to come and say g'day. And we couldn't be more stoked to get to meet everyone. It's about 50 degrees outside, and this bloke's in a jumper. That's dedication, mate. Uh, look, firstly, I just want to say a massive thank you for the turnout. I know some of you guys have driven a long way mm -hmm. to come and say good day. People from Sacramento, yeah. from Texas. Denver, Arizona. yeah, Arizona. Arizona. There's yeah. Been... Yeah. Well, guess what? I drove the furthest to get here. Yeah. 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 Not even a power failure can dampen the mood. And I reckon this one is going to be a night we'll all remember for a long time to come. All right, guys, we've been on the road now for just over a month and we have traveled right around, I guess, the west part of the US, right through, we started off in California, we've gone through to Colorado, and then now, of course, to Moab, and we're finishing off in this beautiful little pub here called Woody's with all these great people behind me. It's been nothing short of amazing, mate, a bucket list trip. Oh, mate, it has been unreal, literally a dream come true, and so honored and privileged to be here. The American people have been so amazing, so helpful and friendly, the trails have been Epic. We've yeah, driven some silly drive. stuff. Oh, yeah, it's been so yeah, good. We really have. We really have. And, and look, to bring my own vehicle, a Dirty mm. 30, all the way from Australia, a right-hand drive vehicle. I mean, it has turned some heads over here. It, we've kept the. When 30... you're on the wrong side of the road, it turns. Oh yeah, heads exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> but I mean, we've kept the 35s on it. We didn't go any bigger than that. And a lot of the locals said that's a bit silly. We should really go 37s or bigger. And it turns out. We made it. Yeah, we got we, through. We, we got out alive. Yeah. And I want to say cheers, boys. Yeah. yeah. By the skin of our Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Now, I, I want to ask you guys, this is our first trip to the US. Do you think we should come back? Yeah. yeah. What can I say? I think we're going to have to come back to the US. But for now, you can catch us next time on... 